Next Tuesday, the BBC is holding another public meeting in Chatham. The panel will include the controllers of BBC Two and Radio Two and the heads of television light entertainment and current affairs, and Simon Bates will be in the chair. If you can make it, you'll be very welcome. Chatham Town Hall, half past seven next Tuesday. The doors open at seven and admission is free. This is BBC One. Now, some of the problems of being single are considered in Claire Rayner's casebook. Have you ever thought it's a sort of Noah's Ark world, that everyone goes two by two in couples? Well, it certainly would seem so if you go just by the pop songs and the television shows and the novels and all the rest of it. So much so that a great many people feel very unhappy because they're on their own. Heaven knows, I get a lot of letters about it, an enormous number of letters. And what they're asking for, essentially, are three things. They want to know how to meet people in the first place. And then a lot of people want to know how to make a relationship with someone once they've actually met them. They find that often very difficult. And there are some people who actually want to, to be reassured that they're not peculiar because they like being single. You know, the single woman who has lots of friends who said, you really ought to find someone to marry, dear. And she doesn't want to. Now, dealing with problems like this can be quite complicated. But in this pro programme, we're trying to see how you can deal with them. And I've talked to four people. A couple who managed to find each other, uh, even though they were very isolated. They're not now. And two people who actually wrote to me and asked me to make a programme on the subject of being alone. And one of them was Margaret. She wrote and said this. The single person, man or woman, has particular problems which I think go beyond those of widows and widowers and the divorced, all of whom have had the rewards and joys of sharing an intimate relationship. As parents, they may have a stake in the future through their children. They may have grandchildren whom they can enjoy. They at least have memories. Now, I'm single, as you might have guessed, and I think I've come to terms with all the problems that it brings, being on the outside in a couple-oriented society. Morning, hello. Come on in. Lovely nice to, to see, you. see you. I went to visit Margaret at her cottage in the Malverns. It's a bit of a climb up from you. Very steep, yes. But it's well worth the effort. It really is. I enjoyed it. This is a beautiful place, isn't it? You've got a marvellous view and the cottage is idyllic. And I can see all the, the assets in your life, the single life. Mm. But there are drawbacks. Well, yes, there well, are. Tell me about them. Well... I sometimes long for the, there to be somebody there who will 